Welcome to STS Presents. I'm Lucas Siska. Today we're going to talk about something very cool, very exciting, because it takes you swimming to the next level without even swimming any more extra laps. Uh, of course, training is important, but this is free speed right here. What I'm talking about today is body position. Body position will change everything. If you have bad body position, you're going to go nowhere in swimming. You're going to get out of breath. You're going to get tired way too easily, and your muscles are just going to tense up. And uh, what's the point of that? All right. So, a lot of people ask me all the time, why can I not get across the pool without uh, just killing myself? And these are usually runners and people of. Uh, that you know they'll come from a swimming background that that talk like this, and a lot of people who get into triathlons, uh, they don't come from a swimming background, and uh, you know they have the same problem. And one of the many reasons is because their body position is off. So let's get to it. Okay, let's uh, erase this and let me show you what most people look like uh, that have this problem of uh, getting out of breath way too easily. Okay, uh, here's my little stick figure swimmer. Okay. This is a swimmer. Yeah, that line right there. Okay, here's his head. Here's his legs. Okay, it's pretty much uh, all I'm going to draw for you right now. But this, this is you'll get the point. Here's the water level. Okay, all right. People swim like this through the water, and these legs are just flailing about back here. Okay, the arms are are struggling around here. Uh, this position right here is going to get you out of breath quick. Now, if you want to swim effortlessly, you need to have your body position up here, okay? And it's easy to fix. As a matter of fact, uh, some of you who are in triathlon, you know that uh, when you have a wetsuit on, you're, you're swimming buoyant. You're, you're up there. Uh, even a person who's not very good at swimming can have decent body position as soon as they put that wetsuit on. Well. This is like swimming with a wetsuit without a wetsuit. All right, we're gonna look at a few drills to completely change your body position like that. I mean, most people who do this and have a little bit of patience, you can fix it in one session, okay? Uh, or at least feel the benefits in one session and you have to go on and practice. So let's look at what we need to do to have good body position. First and foremost, I wanna do a drill that I dubbed Superman kicking, all right? Uh, we do it first kicking on the wall, okay? We need to have our arms fully extended, okay? Imagine that you're hanging from a pull-up bar and that gravity is pulling your weight down, all right? Think about how extended you would be when you're doing that. That's the kind of extension I'm looking for when you hold on to the wall. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, okay? Hold on to the wall, full extension, head in between the arms, suck that gut in, and let's, uh, let's kick, let's kick on the wall, small fast kicks, not big kicks, small fast kicks, all right? If you're fully extended and kicking on the wall, relaxed head, you will feel your back half rise right to the top, okay? That's what I call the sweet spot. As soon as you find that sweet spot, I want you to push away from the wall, hold on to that extension, okay? And then kick yourself back in that Superman-like position, okay? Kick yourself back. Try that a few times, all right? Just like I do here for you, all right? Once you feel that position, I want you to push off the wall going across the pool, and let's kick halfway, halfway in that Superman position, head in between the arms. That is crucial, people. The head has to be relaxed in between the arms because the body will follow what the head does. If the neck is tense and your head is tense, your whole body is going to be tense. So relaxed head, resting in between the arms like you're laying in bed, but you are reaching for that other side, fully extended. Kick your feet, small fast kicks. Once you get to halfway, I want you to break into the full stroke. All right? But just because you break into the full stroke doesn't mean that you scrunch up like an accordion. All right? Keep that extension. Bring those arms in with that same extension that you were using on the Superman wall kick. All right? That's drill number one. Let's talk about two more. Okay, the next drill. 
probably done it quite a bit if you're an experienced swimmer. For those of you that are not, it might be something new. We're going to have uh, single arm swimming with the other arm extended. Not by your side, but extended. Okay? We're going to stretch out in that Superman-like position. Relaxed head, but now we're going to swim one arm front crawl, one arm freestyle with one, uh, yeah, with one arm. Okay? Uh, I'll show you on the video right now. Take a look. Notice how extended I am. I'm reaching for it, okay? Uh, nice big pulls. Remember, the key here is body is extended. All right, so practice that. And every time I do a drill, I always like to swim normal off of it. So do the drill, try it a couple times, and then swim normal front crawl off the drill. All right, the third drill, okay, is arms by your side, arms by your side kicking. We're still imagining that we're extended in that Superman position, but we're not. Now our arms are by our side, but our torso is still extended, okay? I want you to kind of lean on your chest. There's an imaginary pivot point right here in between your chest that you lean on, and we're gonna rotate around that by keeping our shoulders and our hips together, okay? Shoulders and hips together. Notice how I do that, okay? You breathe to the side like you would do when you're swimming. Again, keep yourself extended, our, our, our butt should be right at the top, our hips should be right at the top. So, this is quite a, it looks like a simple drill, but it's quite hard for those of you that are new to swimming. So, any of these drills, you know, you're thinking, Lucas, uh, there's some kicking involved in these drills. When I kick, I go backwards. Uh, not a problem, just try them first with some fins, okay? And then once you master that, then you can move on to without fins. Uh, it doesn't matter that we use fins because fins will help us get in that proper position. And trust me, once you get it and you feel that correct position, you will immediately feel benefits. And for those of you who have been swimming for a while and your body position is not quite right, if you get that forward lean, that forward lean, okay, and stretch it out, you will gain time immediately. Some of my clients that come to me on a one-to-one -one basis have been swimming for years and as soon as I just sort out the kinks in their body position, um, on the 100, they're gaining four to five seconds per 100 meters. Now, if you're an Ironman guy and you add that up, uh, that's, that's a lot of time over um, a 2.4 mile swim, okay? And that can be fixed that quick, all right? So, let's focus on that body position, let's get in that water, and let's do it. Let's go for it, all right? With STS Presents, I'm Lucas Siska. Take care for now.